out, and you even saw a. a Apologies, I missed who it was, but there was somebody waiting for that, right? That from Hundred Thieves, the paranoid comes out. He was still sitting oh, back and spawned. Is check the aggressive peak, but Wardell wins that duel with the ghost. TSM get a ton of room to work with, right? And they get oh. so much information. Nice shot from Steel. He's picked up the shark oh. and the pistol, and it's panning out. I, I, I mean, you just have to love Steel for so many things, right? In this game, the weapon choices, someone that that shows the guardian uh, a lot more than other players, and just. It generally makes interesting choices. The Sheriff and the Pistol. Really cool that that's opened things back up here now for his team. Hiko is doing the damage no. as well. He's going to finish off Never what Steel set up for him. And give them a bit of room to work with as the spike goes down. Asuna with one. Asuna looking for a second. Going to drop the wall. He's going to get it. Wardell trades it out as Ethan gets in on it as well. TSM down to two members left. And there's the late lurk from Steel. By the way, expect to see that a lot. That's what, that's what he's going to do on this map quite often. And... Drone now has to show his prowess with the Sheriff. And there you go. Wow. That's a nice start to things. He winds it up. And unfortunately, unable to do much more than that. The Shock Dart will deny him. See, so is going to come through at the same time as the Drone's debate set up. Oh, wow. That's actually great from TSM. Oh, wow. That is awesome to see. And that's going to help them to now swing things in their favor a little bit. And Hunter Thieves are going to have to, to push off of that because TSM are working out the info. And there comes the kill for Hunter Thieves. Opening up off the entry there through mid. And it looks like they have B side control. Butler is going to have a lot on his hands here. There's a trade, and now it's down to Hazed. Steel looking to get the spike down. Spike he does have that lockdown. It'd be interesting to see if they use it this early on. It might not even get a chance. The turrets there draw a little bit of attention. As Wardell from the top rope, not able to land the shots with the blades, and the sheriff doesn't come through as well. Steel gets the best of him. Hazed alone in a 1v3. Now, it's going to be... All right, never mind. I <laughs> I was going to say it was... Although well, it has to smoke that. He can't shoot the, op uh, the operator and also deal with the recon. So it's getting really awkward here now for TSM. As 100 Thieves hit a nice timing into this A site. And now it's on the retake for TSM. This has been so difficult. And you, you see Steel, who's been waiting back in the spawn the entire time. Now he's going to join in. So 100 Thieves being able to do so without... One of the members on their squad in on the action, and it seems to be going sideways, of course, as soon as I say that. Sabrosa and Cutler get a kill apiece. But the spike has gone down. It's just down to Hiko One and enemy Steel. Remaining. Paranoid is going to push him back. Steel drops. It's down to Hiko, and Hiko, who's been... I mean, he's been good at stuff like this many a time. He's good for one. The Hunter's Fury, no freaking way. Tags up both. We're going to stick to the fuels in no freaking way! Captain Clutch does it again! Hiko wins the ra Just unreal. Absolutely unreal. He oh going God. again, just like picking up right where he left off. It wasn't the Hunter's Fury, it was the Vandal, but either way, the results are the same. Wardell take it out. Man. That is rough. Especially, I mean, it, it put TSM into this situation. One enemy no money to play with, and, and, and it just it just feels like, I mean, it's, you know, 100 Thieves aren't doing anything special. This is the beginning of the round. They are unharassed. Plants there for Nitro, pulling back the close plant. Hunter Thieves looking pretty good. The Hunter's Fury wow. that is available for color. He's going to drop in there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why is the uh, finishing shots there with the steel? He was, of course, detained. And Ethan's just watching that flank. And oh, that's a huge kill for Zabrosa. Now there's a really big problem. you got Hiko sitting up here in the nest. He's got his partner there in crime. Asana looking to try to find a way to prevent this spike from being diffused in this off the Hiko. Can he really do it again? Looks like this time, no dice for under these. And TSM, you know, we were looking for them to find some fortune and it's, it's happening. They won the key opening duels and it led to, are oh, in trouble if they, if they decide to commit for this. And that's two players spotted in this position. Nice anticipation there from Zabrosa, finishing off both players, leaving just two left for 100 Thieves. Yikes. Yeah, and they're, you know, interesting decision by 100 Thieves to commit to that anyway, right? Like, even after the, the pick across the middle, for them to choose to go into B, knowing that there were a couple players there, and they just kind of... It's the rotation going, because they lost that B long control earlier on, so they don't really know what's happening. They're giving up this A site as well, and 100 Thieves will walk straight into this. So, it does feel like this round is going to be a tough one for 100 Thieves, but they should get a, a post plant out of it. That said, TSM have Hunter's Fury, so they could deny it. And they may try to do that, and it's a high, it's a high position for Asuna to try to wow. prevent them from getting position here. 
Paranoia is going to come out. Asuna is going to get tagged up. TSM up from the top rope. Sabrosa had a great spot, but Asuna gives him the business. Nitro does it as well. It's these chaotic moments where 100 Thieves seems to shine. Nitro going to invest the res onto Hiko as they try to go in aggressive. Nitro gets another one. Drone trades it out. Hiko has to back up. No Hunter's Fury for shenanigans here, but he is one kill away. And Anastorm is going to come out. They believe it got to have no freaking way Hiko does it again. He's got the Hunter's Fury. The shot starts there. The swing. Hayes stops it. Stuffs it dead in his tracks. TSM take the round away. Take, and the swipe gets down on the side with three players for 100 Thieves for the, for the retake. Now, Steel no is way. definitely, uh, you know, he's been sitting in mid this whole time as, as the lurk. So Steel, if he finds a good timing, could change the round immensely. But if he misses that timing, could lose the round for his team. Let's right. see Nitro, though, creeping through the dark cover, finds himself a good spot. And we actually see Steel going back here to try to find a way to help his team out. Hiko trades it at the very least. And Hiko, we know he has that Hunter's Fury, but so does Cutler. Ethan was there. Ethan really goes big there. Nitro gets one. Cutler trades him out. Cutler alone in a 1v2. He's running out of time. He's running out of health. <laughs> I don't know that he has time to do much of anything here. And, you know, Hunter's Fury coming out as well. So lots to worry about right now for TSM as they wow. try hard to hold onto these side positions, but it's not working out all too well. Cutler, though, he's still holding onto his Hunter's Fury while Dell pulls out the Blade Storm. So TSM, three versus five. They're not down and out just yet, though. Spike planted. Oh, certainly not. Hiko gets the spike down. That certainly puts him closer to down and out as Asuna continues to cause problems. Nitro does as well. Haze the lone with 45 health. Well, Sage Wall on this A site, I think it's really awesome on these pistols. Oh, just no playing way. that cheeky headshot angle. That's so weird, but oh, <laughs> Nitro is seeing the Boombot just strolling past him, somehow still alive, manages to delay the Boombot just long enough to pick up the extra kill. <laughs> And with all said and done, it leaves just one. Cutler is able to trade onto Hiko at the very least, but... Interesting early aggression. We were actually just talking about how good Ethan has looked for 100 Thieves so far. And there we see him in, in a role where you're asking a bit more out of him, going aggressively there. He gets one, and then Subrosa swings on him. He gets another one. Asuna does as well. TSM on less than desirable weaponry falling apart here against 100 Thieves. Yeah, and you can see Ethan is just... He's just playing the basics really, really well here. How he's holding his angles, how he's challenging, how he's, he's you know, he's jiggling, even though they have allowed Hunter Thieves to be aware as to what they're doing. Well, with that said, it's a nice flank <laughs> coming in from Asuna. that finds his way <laughs> through the tube, and maybe he isn't moving a little bit too slow, unfortunately. It's just hard to know. And they will collect the spike, and they have some ground towards this AB bo uh, bomb site, but unfortunately, it really did come down to the cut being able to hit one of those shots, because look at all the ground now that's able to be gained by Hunter Thieves around the site. So at this point, TSM have to hit some crazy shots even to have a chance to plant the spike, left. and they are committed to the site. Yeah, you're going to have to do something filthy just to, just to get the same zip code, right? But you deal with the wall, now they just don't have that utility. You, you want to make sure that it's impactful. Um, so that's really the question you've got to ask yourself is, is this actually impactful? Is this actually stopping something or doing something? And so, you know, at, at the pro level, every piece of utility is is gold right. and needs to be used as such. So, so that's really the best way just to think about it. TSM here backs against the ropes on Icebox. 100 Thieves are, I mean, they're leaps and bounds uh, ahead of TSM. As far as score goes, TSM having to play, you know, really having to play perfect Valorant from here on out uh, just to get us to overtime. And then to have to go through that is obviously a difficult task in and of itself we'll see what they have in store they do have the showstopper they do have that hunter's fury what they don't have is time it's kind of ridiculous as well how much steel can do in terms of delay with the odin from that position yeah. on the tube it's it's pretty disgusting and you can see he's just getting free damage out of it out of it and also a kill spamming the odin he's not even having to do anything he's just looking at a box and just holding down mouse one Come on, <laughs> this it's is not, not fair. fair, is it? They picked up the spike, jiggled it, handed it off. Sabrosa, you did spot one player, and I believe, yep, 100 Thieves saw it as well. Ethan swings, takes care of him, Wardell tries to get in. He's going to get tagged pretty badly before taking care of Asuna and getting away to safety. Kills traded on each side. Yeah, quick reset into a fast rotation onto the beast side. After that mid-action, nice. oh, great stuff there from Drone. Nice drive-by crag onto Ethan. Will allow the plant to go down onto B. Nitro and Hiko coming through now. Spike 
the Planted. old CS veterans to see what they're able to accomplish. A recon done is always great. You can bank it on that tree at the back. Get some good coverage of some of those uh, those positions. However, if there are players in the boathouse, of course, they will be obscured from that recon dart. And they know there has to be at least one player in B main, given how many there are at the moment. It's just buying time. Right, oh, cover. Player as long standing. as he can keep Nitro entertained. If he wins the duel, great. And even if he doesn't, he just buys himself time, leaves Hiko alone. The floor beneath him, eating him alive. When Wardell swings out, takes care of him. With now you see them start to rotate over. TSM should be able to get on to be just fine. And it's going to be on 100 Thieves with suboptimal weaponry to take B back. Yeah, this this might get a little bit crazy. We'll have to see if if, if 100 Thieves can get you know an entry and you know they, they drop a dark cover onto B main. There we go. It, it does start to get a little bit weird because. Do you, the TSM players in B main try to push out of B main or they try to like hold on to this and just wait for as long as possible? And and that's normally what you'd want to try to do. And, and there is actually a flank coming through. And, and so the Broza will be able to help deal with that. And or rather, well, he goes down, but it was the bait. So right. ultimately it works out quite nicely. A lot of time will spike at this point. Some good damage done though. Yeah. By 100 Thieves. Yeah, and you know, for that, I love... Ultimately, like TSM gets out and run it back play, which means that the rest of the team will be there to run behind it, which means that A main and Gelato is free. So they're pushing up Gelato for free, but look at the rotation coming in here as well. So they should be ex expecting to run into something. There's Hayes with one. The transfer is pretty good there from Asana. Picks up a second and they get the info. Three versus three, and he goes hiding in wine. He's going to get a chance at something special Jump's here. Over. They sit there. Back. Wait. Nice shot from Hiko. He takes care of Wardell, and now the gig's up. Drone knows that he's there. Swings in the ult. Able to take care of him. It's going to clear out the rest of the site. He's going to come back. He's going to pick up the spike, and now he's off with the decision, right? He knows that they have some mid control at the hands of Sub Rosa, or he can commit to A. It looks like he's rotating off, and this, my dear friends, is an awkward situation. It's gonna shoot him right in the back of the head. The nice shots onto Sub Rosa as well. The spikes down. Everything goes in favor. I saw to raise main shells into B main to punish all the old pickup. But TSM slowing things down, moving towards mid now. There's a setup here on Catwalk. Eco there with the shock dust is gonna be able to find one frag with that. And setup wow. here on Cat is still looking good. And it hasn't been dealt with. And Wardell's cool. gonna have to push forwards to do that. Nice double headshots coming out of the blade storm and now, with that said, it's a two versus two. Time is of the essence. There's the pickup of the frag to get passage to the bomb. Spike now is available. Oh, maybe not anymore, though. That's so disgusting from Hayes. Straight in Hiko's face. And with that said, it's going to be a hell of a job now for Hayes. He's not got much time, and Nitro's going to get around the corner just. Wardell with the op. The tip of the spear. It's going to be Something. 100 Furies there. That's the cue. Asunu tries to swing to punish it. And he drops. It's a timely wall there to deny entry off at the back of the kill there from TSM. Troning pass, trying to get some info on some of these closer positions. Three players on site, though. Wow. It's going to make life difficult. Drone doesn't care, though. Taking down Nitro quite easily. It's now creating some space for his team, and... It's still not clear if they are going to try to commit initially off of this, but Drone has the back side. Still one player on the site. Finally, there's some frags happening here for 100 Thieves. They announced their presence, just waiting for the perfect moment to come out of those defensive spots to go for the engagements. And now Sabrosa, he will certainly have been heard. You know exactly where he is. And there's a shock dart to just prove that fact. It's tapping away, and the Eco has knocked him down to 41 health. There's just very little to do here now for Sabrosa. Ethan finally announces his position too, and again, that's just a... But TSM has an ace in the hole that 100 Thieves does not, and that's the Hunter Fury. There's the second lockdown. They're going to go ahead and use the run it back as well as they try to get onto the site. And there, dear friends, is that Hunter Fury. That's going to take care of the lockdown. Meanwhile, Steel was one of the ones detained. That's going to give TSM license left. to get onto the site. So Broza gets all the way in. As he gets up top, he's got a chance at something great here. Something special. Gets two. Looking for the third. Line him up and knock him down. So Rosa comes big. Looking for the fourth. Austin is going to trade him out. He's left alone. A man on an island in a 1v4. Asuna with eight health left, too. He's going to swing. Great. 
timing as he takes care of drone. But again, that that is just one one of many steps he's gonna have to take if he wants to win this round for hundred thieves. And at the very least, you know, charging up his ultimate with some additional kills is it's gonna be very valuable. Trying to find something extra here, as you say, just squeezing out as much value as possible. Might not be too much left to well. squeeze out. And, and and you gotta credit 100 Thieves for just recognizing. Lots of movement coming in from TSM though towards B main at the same time and mid as well. So it does feel at this point, I think, for 100 Thieves, especially with that push from Steel, that info play, he picks up Hazed, and Hazed has been lurking. So that's a huge tell. Yeah. Here, in the, in the hands of 100 Thieves as to what TSM are doing. So TSM are in a, a weird spot because they're going to be, they know that they know that their opponents know what's coming now, I think, is fair to say. So it's going to be hard for them to pull this off, but they just have to go for it. Right. We'll have to see if it's going to work out. They've got to commit. They've taken the middle of the map. That's the one silver lining for them, but Asmus seems to be able to hold it off just fine. Necro does as well. He's going to get away. What a firing squad from 100 Thieves. TSM, no, but they are going to push Steel back, and they're going to flood onto the site. Hazed, there's Steel, excuse me, had to look at the Omen ult, and the he gets dropped. Ethan trades one out as well. The Hunter's Fury out from, oh no, from Hiko as Asuna just, I don't know how he survived that. He ate that, but TSM have gotten onto the site. 100 Thieves at the numbers disadvantage. Hazed has four. As Cutler gets the spike down, he's going to use the lockdown as well. This, this round looking so good for TSM. Yeah, he, it, it's a good thing that he hesitated on the lockdown in, in, in the end because it looks like it's yeah. going to be a pretty easy cleanup and with all said and done. Uh, great stuff there from TSM. And they're, they're going back to be here. TSM has... Oh boy. All right, this is going from bad to worse for TSM. Nitro. Nitro gets one with the Sheriff before dropping. Subrosa drops as well. It's just... On to Cutler, he gets onto the site. He is not going to get the spike down. He is going to swing. Takes care of Hiko, but he's going to drop. The judge that we teed up at the beginning proves to be too much for TSM as 100 Thieves take the... Yeah, really fast approach here from 100 Thieves straight through to oh mark boy. him. So Brozo with the lurk, though. He wants to find that timing on the flank. Not able to find it just yet. Teammates will be holding things off on the site in the meantime. And it's not looking too oh, horrendous, wow. but just as I say that, three players dropping instantly for TSM on site. And it's looking like a scary prospect there. Steel with the Lurk with the Sheriff. Loving the Sheriff pickup from Steel. And down to Wardell here. In this B-Main position. Does have some assistance coming through. He's got Drone on his six. But I don't like the look of this. This is tough. They know they're gonna, both are going to be coming from B-Main. Holding tight to the site. There's no, just... there's no exit for 100... Thieves, they, I mean, they kind of have to huddle in. And just, um, they're going to go in. Great shots from Mordell to take care of Austin. They drop things down to a thief. Dash across. 100 Thieves holds them off. They win the pistol in the second half. Drone was looking for him. 30 seconds left. But he has bought enough time here, especially with this dark cover on the B main position. They're going to have to force their way through it, I would imagine. Uh, otherwise, they allow the defenders of TSM to get rotation into the site. And look at the wall coming through here. That's lovely there for Nitro. Bulldog able to get some angles here. Maybe he wanted a little, a little bit more space to play with. They're actually going to challenge that angle. Under these, we'll be able to clean everything up. What is the best bang for buck in my utility? And indeed, we're going to see it used for the site entry there. Asana able to get it off onto Wardell. That's a huge pickup as well. Wardell not able to dash away in time. However, TSM looking to hold on to things here as 100 these fail to make their way into the site with the spike. Well, not only that, but they drop it in a terrible standing. spot where TSM has control, right? It's just down to Nitro there, and they can just squat on it. A huge 3k from Sabrosa to stop the bonus. TSM, get back home. I'm curious if they're going to push this because they do need to... I feel like they need to get info somewhere or they need to just gamble stack something. That's usually what you want to do in a situation like this. Right. And they, they've got that control now towards a main. So they just spotted that there's nothing there. But th there's a problem here because if you don't see Gelato, this is exactly what can happen. A team yeah. can think, ah, oh, well, they just cleared a main, so they're going to go back, and now we're going to get a, a timing on the site. But in fact, Wardell sticking around makes the difference, and he gets a multi-kill, the dash to safety too. And just like that, TSM swing things back in their favor. The spikes down, 100 Thieves are at a spot where they can easily pick it up and then decide where they want to play things out. Also, keep an eye on Ethan. He's taking cat control. This could be a devastating pinch left. onto A if the timing is right. They're going to have to have somebody 
Eco. Come back, pick it up. Ethan's there on tree. He's able to get one, just one left on the site. So Rosa by himself, a man left alone, and a man dead. 100 Thieves have control of the site. It's just Hayes alone here in a 1v3. Spike the spike goes down. He's healthy. Dan, he's got utility. He's got plenty of armor. He's got the opportunity to do this here. But he's going to have to go huge. You see Ethan playing off the site. The darts there. Fancy forward from Hayes to keep it alive. Austin drops. Hiko does as well. And Ethan stops the clutch. Now you see members from TSM working their way up towards heaven. Also keep an eye on Hayes. He's in tree. He's left unchecked. Also, on top of that, you got to keep an eye on Steel. Who's on the, who is on the lurk? Excuse me. The lockdown comes out. Asuna goes in aggressive. Asuna takes care of Wardell. The paranoia is there. The Boombot leading the way as Asuna looks for more. Hayes and Cutler get a couple of pieces. Nitro is tagged up and stays alive for now. And, and Ethan's the only one that didn't get detained. He's got to survive here. And it, he survived for just long enough to prevent his teammates from getting taken down in 8 main. And now it's down to Hiko and Nitro. And they. And now they're looking at a hor horrifying situation. Six rounds in a row. <laughs> Oh, sorry, uh, five rounds in a row is what they have to do. Spot where Austin is, where you see the spike and a lot of the a lot of the investment of personnel elsewhere. And Steel's the one who's usually on the work, but this time it's Austin who's holding things down. Oh. Hayes goes big in the middle as he gets two numbers in favor of TSM here. Hayes rolling back the years. Oh my god, he is just crushing in the series. And that's going to force the res to come out. And that's going to force the swing. They want to punish that res. It's just scary because wow. they had a lot. Hayes no is just way. playing deathmatch right now. Beautiful work off of the Vandal. And he is still confident holding out there. No fear. 23 health. There's only one man left standing. It's Hiko. And Hayes does not care. He just he wants to shoot everybody in the face. And here comes the late luck through from Wardell. Surely not, right? Silence. Surely not. Well, Hiko. Well, there you go. Hiko gets one onto Wardell. Left. He's got the spike. He's got 30 seconds. So he has some time. He also has the ultimate. The problem is you have to somehow sneak onto the site, get the spike down, and then stay alive long enough to be able to use your hunter security. He's got oh, no freaking way Hiko does this again. He drops things down to a 1v1. Taps. Looking for the swing. He spotted Cutler. So he has a great idea. Of where he is and Hiko does it again. Are you kidding me?